Red Mansion. Opening Load AI Template Introduction. Upon waking up, Jia Yun travels through the world of Zhongwu Red Mansion. Jia Yun found herself unable to achieve academic success, powerless in the martial arts examination, and with a bleak future ahead. In this year, Lin Daiyu entered the Jia Mansion, marking the countdown to the extermination of the Jia family. As Jia Yun was decadent and waiting to die, he awakened the villainous template of the Krypton Gold mini game. You can extract villain templates and gain extraordinary power by recharging silver with Krypton. AI Template Force Value 70, Intelligence 74, Charm 93, Special Skills, Xiang Yu Template Force Value of 100, Intelligence of 82, Charm of 89, Special Skill Heavenly God Descends to Earth Zhao Gao Template Force value of 68, intelligence of 86, charm of 83, special skill of turning a deer into a horse, Dong Zhuo template. Force value 88, intelligence 76, charm 65, special skill wine pool and meat forest so, the illegitimate son of the red chamber began to save his own destiny, rewriting the grand finale of Jia Mansion, where the vast white land was truly clean, and the twelve golden hairpins of the red chamber, fragrant and jade fading away. And all of this starts with Jia Yun's extraction of the template to guide Qin Kiching. Chapter 1 Awakening from a Big Dream You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, pain, pain, pain after endless pain and chaos, Jia Yun suddenly woke up from the chaos and darkness, opened her eyes, and began to look at the world. He greedily breathed in the fresh air, as if he had come back to life. The darkness dissipated, replaced by a sense of unease and doubt. Various emotions flooded into her heart, and Jia Yun looked around. What is this place? Later, Jia Yun looked at the shabby house, where the mice had to take a detour. She couldn't help but frown and think, where is this? Last night, I stayed up late reading night novels and even voted for recommendations why did you come to this unfamiliar place after a while of effort. With a hint of doubt, Jia Yun stood up and pushed open the door, staring out at the scene and suddenly froze. A quaint house, a spacious courtyard, and a large water tank are placed in the courtyard. A woman in simple and plain clothes is washing clothes in the courtyard. Seeing Jia Yun walking out of the house, she quickly stepped forward and said, My son. Have you been crazy again? Bu Shi looked at Jia Yun in front of him and couldn't help but sob. He quickly came over and pulled Jia Yun into the room. Just as he was about to lock the room, he heard Jia Yun shout, Mom. Why did you lock me? What did I do? Even though Jia Yun had not yet figured out her current situation, when she heard this woman call her son, she must have called her mother right. She muttered to herself, is it because the memories of the original owner have disappeared? Why don't I have any impression of this place? Listening to Jia Yun's words, Bu Shi immediately froze in place and stopped crying. She looked at her son in surprise and inexplicably grabbed Jia Yun's hand, asking, son. Are you really not crazy or foolish? Oh my goodness. My son's madness has finally healed. God open your eyes, God open your eyes. Bu Shi looked at her son with joy in her heart, dancing happily. Jia Yun walked out of the room and came to the water tank, taking a picture of his current appearance. He was about 15 or 16 years old, with a long face, a slender figure, and a very elegant and graceful demeanor. But the problem is, this person is not him. My previous self was not on par with the elegant and graceful demeanor in front of me, at most it could be considered an ordinary person's level of appearance. Moreover, I am already 20.7 or 8 years old, but I cannot match the appearance of this teenage boy looking at her own appearance, Jia Yun touched her face again. Based on decades of experience in reading novels, Jia Yun had a terrifying guess in her mind. Is it possible that I have truly traveled through time? Next, Jia Yun approached Bu Shi and asked, Mom, can you tell me about the past? Oh my God! 
Come over here, I'll talk it over. Bu sure didn't doubt it either. After all, his son suddenly became foolish and crazy three years ago. Now he can speak like an ordinary person and answer fluently, which is a lucky coincidence. He didn't dare to ask for anything else. He quickly explained, this is Rongwa Mansion. Your surname is Jia and your name is Yun. Your father was a collateral branch of Rongwa Mansion, and he passed away when you were young. I am your mother Bu Shi. You injured your head three years ago and couldn't speak, and others said you have become a fool and can't be saved. Unfortunately, your mother doesn't believe in this evil. But now you finally have this. Awakening to the world and speaking up, it's really God's mercy. Buddha has opened his eyes. You take a break first, wait a moment, I'll go to the temple to burn incense. I'm willing to go. This is really great news. Listening to Bu's words, Jia Yun silently analyzed the current situation, Rongguo Mansion. Jia Yun. These two key words came to his mind, causing Jia Yun's gaze to become solemn, his pupils contracting, and even his entire body froze. Rongguo Prefecture. Jia Yun. Isn't this the dream of the Red Chamber? This sudden news caught Jia Yun off guard and made her feel flustered. Jia Yun quickly said to Bu Shi, Are there any books here that can be read? What? You want to read? Bu Shi had a strange expression on her face, but hesitated for a moment before getting up to search for her son. When Jia Fu was in elementary school, she had also received books for Jia Yun. Others laughed at her and said, What's the use of a foolish and crazy son asking for this sage book? Can he still learn? At that time, Bu Shi only thought he didn't hear it and always thought he would be able to use it. Bu Shi always believed in his heart that his son would only be foolish and crazy for a period of time, and he would soon get better. In the future, he would need to study and enter the civil service through the imperial examination. But now it comes in handy. Immediately, Bu Shi rummaged through the books on early childhood education from a corner and handed them to Jia Yun with a serious expression, saying, Son. Since you have awakened to the world, you should read more books. As a man, only by studying well can you achieve success and success in the future, and not be unable to win a wife. In my lifetime, it's okay to work hard and tired. As long as you can achieve great success and make some achievements in the future, even if I am someone else's ox and horse, it's worth it. Jia Yun listened to Bu Shi's teachings and quickly nodded. There was a moment of silence as I watched the book handed over by Bu Shi. The three dot character scripture the hundred surnames. The enlightenment of writing. After a long time, when Jia Yun flipped through all the books, she found that there were not too many obstacles to reading. He confirmed his previous speculation in his heart, as if he had truly traveled through time. Not only did I travel, but I also traveled into the world of Dream of the Red Chamber. He is a member of the Jia family and the son of the fifth sister. In. Law in Zalanxia. Rongwa Mansion, Jia Yun. At the age of 15 or 16, how could you be so foolish and crazy for so many years? Jia Yun finally realized why she didn't have any common sense and memories of life in her mind. It turned out that I had traveled back from three years ago when Jia Yun injured his head and died. After more than three years of being a fool, there was naturally no useful information or intelligence to speak of. Thinking of this, he couldn't help but take a deep breath. Let's travel through time, but when we travel to the Jia Mansion, which is destined to be robbed of our homes, we end up in the white and clean Jia Mansion, where we are still the least favored branch of our sect. Isn't time travel the same as reincarnation in drawing cards, it depends on facial recognition. Jia Yun, who has been confused for more than three years, faces too many difficulties. Lack of clothing and food, lack of money and food, and a bleak future looking down at her own hands, it must have been years of foolishness. Bu Shi dared not let Jia Yun help with the work, but she was still fair and clean. But this state of powerless hands is definitely not suitable for martial arts practitioners. What about the imperial examination? 
Jia Yun looked at the Enlightenment book in her hand and shook her head. It seems that after crossing over, I haven't had the ability to remember everything, she said the path of selecting scholars through the eight-legged essay is also not feasible. Jia Yun found herself unable to achieve academic success, powerless in the martial arts examination, with a bleak future and a secure future as a low-dot-level worker in society. However, he believes that relying on his future intelligence and wisdom, he can also seek a small fortune. However, he cannot accept the fact that Rongwa Mansion will be plagiarized in the future by contacting Shuyuan www.zhaozhuyuan.com. The twelve hairpins of Jinling, with a thousand reds crying and ten thousand beauties grieving, how desolate and desolate. Unfortunately, Jia Yun now is just an outsider who cannot even afford to support herself. What about the imperial examination in martial arts, saving the twelve golden hairpins? Given Jia Yun's current family situation, it's too difficult to change her own destiny. Even if Jia Yun wants to make a difference, a penny can't defeat a hero. Without money, it's difficult to move forward. When a person is in trouble, even drinking cold water can be frustrating, and even the guard dog of the Jia family will look down on him. Wang Shifeng seems to be lending high interest loans. Perhaps I can borrow a start dot up capital from her. Suddenly, Jia Yun thought of Wang Shifeng. Perhaps she could get some silver from Wang Shifeng, but in her previous life, she had to work hard for a mortgage and car loan. In this life, she would have to bear a high interest loan just to break a few tails of silver. Jia Yun hesitated immediately. Why didn't I go check out the three essential treasures for travelers before? If I had looked at it, I wouldn't have blacked out my eyes and knew nothing. Jia Yun let out a light sigh, her eyes turning red. Who knows who started this hell? If there were no powerful means, it would be easy to Jia Yun glanced at the book in her hand, feeling annoyed and irritable. After a brief glance, she threw it to the ground. But at this moment, a sudden mutation occurred after Jia Yun threw away the book, a series of golden lights came to her mind. The golden light spread out, revealing a book of characters with lifelike portraits on it. The card drawing system for the Krypton Gold mini game. He seems to awaken a golden finger. Chapter 2 Borrowing Money from Qin Kiching. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, the card drawing system for the Krypton Gold mini game. Without a doubt, this is my own golden finger. Jia Yun's mind was filled with more information, telling him how to use his golden finger. He had been traveling for over three years and was still foolish because this golden finger was causing trouble and lacking energy. This drawing lasted for three years. Do you know how I got through these three years? After awakening the golden finger, Jia Yun can now become stronger by charging and earning money, and draw villain character cards from the system to arm herself. Once these villain character cards are drawn, Jia Yun can gain the extraordinary power possessed by these characters, thereby changing her own destiny. What are you waiting for? Draw a card. It's up to you to go pick up the pickup truck weight. What seems to be wrong? I don't have any money to pay for it now. Jia Yun suddenly realized that the card drawing system of the Krypton Gold mini game in her mind needed to activate capital. Without money, there was no way to draw, let alone become stronger. Although Jia Yun is also very envious of villain character cards in the system, such as He Shen, Dong Zhuo, Zhao Gao, and other characters, as well as top generals such as Xiang Yu and LV Bu, one penny is not enough to defeat the hero, and the system needs sufficient silver as the capital to start. There are numerous villain template characters in the system, strong as the Western Chu Overlord and weak as Ye Ai. Once powerful characters are drawn, they can possess an absolute invincible talent against the heavens, easily crush all beings, and reach the pinnacle of the human world. Recharge Krypton Gold to become stronger. This is very gold. Jia Yun looked around and didn't find any silver that could be recharged. Her family was in dire straits, and in order to support her foolish son, 
who had to work several jobs a day to barely sustain her family's livelihood. Naturally, it was impossible for Jia Yun to find the silver to use to earn money. A penny can't defeat a hero. Even if you have a golden finger in your hand now, without money, you can't start it. After pondering for a moment, Jia Yun decided to borrow money from someone. After thinking wildly about the characters he could borrow money from, he decided to go to Ningua Mansion to find Qin Kiching. Qin Kiching has a weak and deceitful temperament, and is also wealthy, making her a true wealthy lady in the brothel. Compared to borrowing money from the shrewd and capable Wang Shifeng, borrowing money from Qin Kiching seems more secure and easy. Moreover, Qin Kiching suffered from the harassment of Jia Zhen, the hereditary third-rank noble and powerful general of the Ningua prefecture. If Jia Yun could reason with him and make a profit, perhaps he could get the silver from Qin Kiching's hands. More importantly, the Krypton card drawing system in Jia Yun's hand requires 100 tails of silver for each draw, which is quite expensive. Although compared to the characters in it, this small amount of money is destined to be insignificant. As long as it can be drawn out, it can be earned back thousands of times in an instant. However, Jia Yun has no money now. Not to mention a lottery of 100 tails of silver, even if it's one penny, he doesn't have it on him. Thinking about it, Jia Yun immediately began to take action. It doesn't matter if you don't know the way, just look for someone and ask for directions. I left my own yard and came to the street. Rongua Mansion and Ningua Mansion are located relatively close to each other, both in the bustling Xinjing West Street. Moreover, the stone lion at the entrance is quite clear, showcasing the grandeur of a wealthy and wealthy family. After searching for someone and asking for directions, Jia Yun arrived at the Ningua Mansion. After passing through the door's communication, at least he handed over a note, which was considered to have seen Qin Kiching himself. Qin Kiching's residence was in the upper room next to Tianxiang Tower, located in Huifang Garden in the western district of Ningua Prefecture. The Tianxiang Tower is located in an excellent location, surrounded by blooming flowers, pavilions, pavilions, water pavilions, and rockeries. Living in it, one can often enjoy the beautiful scenery inside the courtyard. Opening the curtains, everything seen and heard is the best scenery. The proud plum blossoms on the branches bathed in frost and snow have long fallen, with light red plum blossoms scattered into mud, gradually emitting a faint fragrance in the corners of the human world. After passing through the corridor and small pavilion, Jia Yun followed the maid to a loft in the secluded courtyard of a deep mansion. The towering buildings, meticulously carved, and winding patterns make people unable to resist stopping and admiring. The screen windows of the upstairs boudoir are half open, and as the spring flowers bloom, a hundred birds return and sing in the courtyard, exuding a charming and elegant atmosphere. You wait outside for a while, I'll pass on the message inside and take you in with the master's permission. Su saw Jia Yinsi being elegant and refined, and the maid Bao Zhu also glanced at Jia Yun a few more times. She gave a warning, then walked with a broken flower step, pushed open the door, and went in first. Jia Yun waited outside and not long after, she saw the maid Bao Zhu walking out and calling Jia Yun in. All right, come with me in. Maid Bao Zhu walked ahead and whispered to Jia Yun, wait a moment, don't provoke the master. Master Zhen has come over again today, and the master's mood is very bad. If you say the wrong thing, you will have to be kicked out with a stick. Listening to the maid Bao Zhu's words, Jia Yun nodded and said, thank you very much, Miss Bao Zhu. Your mouth is sweet. Upon hearing this, Bao Zhu also felt a sense of joy in her heart. She felt that Jia Yun was not as foolish as rumored, but rather like an elegant scholar who could speak obediently and make girls happy. Entering the room, on the warm couch, sat a graceful and graceful beauty. She was bright and charming, resembling a precious hairpin, graceful and charming, or like Lin Dayu. She was born delicate and gentle, and acted gently and peacefully. Who could she be if she were not Qin Kiching? At this moment, Qin Kiching saw Jia Yun come in and personally brought a cup of tea. 
He placed the cup on the side table and smiled warmly, saying, I have seen your poems before, but they are extremely exquisite. I have never heard of them before. Did you come up with them yourself or did someone else tell you? I saw Qin Kiching spreading out the paper in his hand, but it was the knocking brick that Jia Yun had specially brought to see Qin Kiching before, with a small poem written on it, If life is only like the first sight, what is the sad autumn wind painting fan? Idle changes make people's hearts, but the way makes people's hearts change. After the sound of the Lishan dialect, the night is half clear, and the rain of tears and the rain of bells finally do not complain. How fortunate is the Jinyalang, who is like a pair of wings and branches, wishing on the same day. It is the Mulan Ci written by Nalan Shingda that has been remembered by Jia Yun as a timeless noun. It is also one of the few poems in his heart that he can recall. With this poem at the bottom, it would be much easier to borrow money from Qin Kiching. Otherwise, as Jia Yun, even if she wanted to step into the gate of Ningua Prefecture and meet Qin Kiching in the deep boudoir, it would be extremely difficult, not to mention asking Qin Kiching for 100 tails of silver as soon as she spoke. After all, no one's silver was blown by a strong wind. Even if you go to Rinyatsi to buy a yellow flower girl, you only get a few dozen tails of silver. Silver is expensive in this era. Silver was precious, so Jia Yun had to use his sword to take the lead and seize the opportunity to intimidate Qin Kiching, paving the way for future events. I once entered the realm of immortality and dreamt of immortals imparting teachings and teachings. Therefore, this poem is from heaven, unlike the works of ordinary people in the world. Jia Yun immediately pretended when she saw Qin Kiching entering the game. Holding on to her position was the best way to deal with such talented women. If you were to bow down, it would be looked down upon. Qin Kiching was also taken aback when he heard this. He lifted his sparkling apricot eyes and looked at Jia Yun, smiled lightly, and said, You have written such good poetry. Take it to me, and I'm afraid you won't climb the Three Treasures Hall for anything. Please ask me if you have anything to do. Jia Yun became indecisive upon seeing the situation and smiled calmly, I plan to use this poem to mortgage 100 tails of silver for my sister. In. Law. Qin Kiching said strangely, Do you really want to borrow 100 tails of silver from me with such exquisite poetry? Take it seriously, Jia Yun nodded. Okay, I agreed. Qin Kiching didn't ask Jia Yun what she wanted to do with 100 tails of silver, but she really loved this poem. If she could exchange a hundred tails of silver for such a timeless term, it would naturally be a satisfying thing. After Jia Yun received the silver from Qin Kiching, she immediately went out and recharged it into the Krypton Gold system, preparing to draw villain character cards. Shenjing West City, Rongning Back Street, Wu Sa's house under the West Corridor. A hundred tails of silver, you have to draw out a useful character for me. Jia Yun closed the door and silently began to draw cards. He pondered in his heart, his gaze falling on the character cards of the villains in the lottery, all of whom were top-dot-notch and ruthless characters, with a lasting reputation. Even if they carried a lasting reputation, they were still first-dot-class and powerful figures. At the entrance, the wheel turned and the lottery's golden light kept flashing. The card level is divided into white card, blue card, purple card, and gold card. Among them, Xiang Yu, the hegemon of Western Chu, suffered a defeat in Wujiang and committed suicide on his own. The world was acquired by Liu Bang, the founder of Han, and he became a king and defeated the enemy, making him a villain. He was also ranked among the golden card due to his unparalleled martial arts skills, such as being invincible to thousands of soldiers and possessing unparalleled strength. For example, during the Three Kingdoms period, the war god LV Bu, the three heroes fought against LV Bu, causing Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, and Liu Bei to become famous throughout the world and become the number one figures. In the end, the White Gate Tower was beheaded, resulting in a three surname family slave who despised the tragic fate of a thousand years. Although not comparable to the hegemon Xiang Yu, he was also a top military general, known as Zika. For example, during the spring and autumn period and the Warring States period, 
although the ox turned its wheels, it was also a small figure with low intelligence and poor military strength, hence it was called the blue card. As for white cards, they are some small characters and figures who have a bad reputation in the martial arts world and are difficult to climb to the top of the world. Jia Yun looked at the flickering character cards on the roulette wheel and muttered to herself, Buddha, Jade Emperor, Supreme Emperor Sanqin, God. God bless me to draw out the Western Chu overlord Xiang Yu, let me draw a wave of divine power. After seeing the pointer on the roulette will stop, the villain character card is the card on the back and needs to be flipped open to see its true form. This is an additional stimulus. Whether it's wealth and fortune in heaven or bowing down to be a good person, it all depends on this wave. Jia Yun trembled as she flipped open the card, and suddenly her whole body froze. The good news is that this villain character card is a blue card, which is at least one level higher than the guaranteed white card on ZhaoZhuyuan.com. The bad news is that the protagonist of this villain character card is actually AI. It's broken. I've become a parasite. Jia Yun sighed in amazement, took a deep breath, exhaled a breath, and gradually calmed down her mood. Okay, I can accept it too. After all, the strength of the spinning wheel is definitely that of the entire spring and autumn and warring states period even if it is the top bully who has been able to claim dominance in a few fields for thousands of years. There are no useless skills, only people who cannot use them. For all men, the ability and skills of the snake are undoubtedly something that cannot be coveted. AI Template Blue Card Force Value 70. Your force exceeds that of an ordinary person, but it is only at the level of a third-rate general. Intelligence. 74. Your IQ surpasses that of an ordinary person, but you have not yet reached the level of genius. Charm. 93. Your charm is amazing. Not only do you have a handsome face, but beautiful women or men will surely fall in love with you and gradually develop an admiration for you. Special skill. 4. Passive skill. Born to be a genius, you possess extraordinary talents in certain special fields. The Fire of Desire Every part of your body has a special demonic nature, which can make women or men who are attracted to you feel close and desire. Super Kidney Your fertility is extremely strong, able to quickly give birth to children and complete the great miracle of having a family full of children. Clever Words your words have a strong alluring effect on women or men, and there is a certain possibility that women or men will obey you and dedicate everything to you. Chapter 3 Crisis Highlights You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals Window Ads by Google Push, good guy I called out, good guy, directly. Men and women kill each other, right? After taking a glance at all these skills, Jia Yun felt a chill in her heart. He is not a flower-picking thief, how could he have obtained such a character template? Is the system planning to make him transform into the enemy and conquer Qin Kiching? In this way, not only can Jia Yun take the silver borrowed from Qin Kiching as his own, without having to pay back a penny, but he can also get more silver from Qin Kiching and live a wealthy life with a soft meal. Wait! What seems to be wrong with this? Is that how hell started playing? Jia Yun touched her head and found that she seemed to have seen a path she had never seen before. After careful consideration for a moment, she realized that this matter seemed truly feasible. If she had conquered Qin Kiching, she was afraid that he would not lack the money to draw cards in a short period of time. Jia Yun paused her arm, lost in thought, and said with a fixed gaze, are you going to start attacking Qin Kiching as the first step in the world of Red Mansions? Just as Jia Yun was pondering, soon after, she saw someone coming in from outside. The person who came was Jia Rong, the son of Jia Zhen, the hereditary third-rank noble of Ningua Prefecture and the general of Wei Lai. After Jia Rong returned home, she was also surprised to hear that Jia Yun, the son of the fifth sister dot in dot law under the West Corridor, was no longer foolish. She felt that this person became more and more beautiful and restless as she looked at him. 
Previously, she had only heard that Jia Yun had come to Ningua Prefecture and borrowed 100 taels of silver from Qin Keqing under the pretext of a poem. She immediately became interested and wanted to come and ask about the situation. Now that I saw Jia Yun's true face, it seemed as if I had moved my mind. Watching Jia Rong enter the door, Jia Yun's eyes narrowed slightly, but she couldn't be sure who the person in front of her was. Bu Shi, the fifth sister dot in dot law who had previously gone to the temple to fulfill her wishes, stepped into the door and greeted Jia Rong with a smile. She said, Grandpa Rong, why do you have time to come to our small place today? Oh, I just said, why are magpies shouting on the branch this morning? It was originally a guest who came to visit. Come and go into the house quickly, don't let the cold wind blow outside and get cold. Jia Rong was about to ask Jia Yun for the silver she had borrowed from Qin Keqing before, so that she could take it over and enjoy a happy life. When she heard the words of her fifth sister dot in dot law, Bu Shi, she felt embarrassed and panicked for a moment. She smiled awkwardly, avoiding Bu Shi's gaze and sighed inwardly. This matter is not easy to mention. However, as soon as Jia Yun thought about the temptation of borrowing the 100 taels of silver from Qin Keqing, Jia Rong had to hold up her face and smile, I came here today to ask Yun Gu about something. I heard that Yun Gu borrowed 100 taels of silver from my wife, so I came specifically to ask what the situation was. Upon hearing this, Bu Shi furrowed his brows and looked at Jia Yun, not in a hurry to reprimand him. Instead, he watched coldly without paying attention. Jia Yun was also indifferent on the surface and did not respond much, just because Jia Rong's actions were too disgusting. He only borrowed silver from Qin Keqing in the first step, but now he comes to collect the debt in the second step, which is really not a good person. The 100 taels of silver have already been recharged by Jia Yun to the system, so naturally they cannot be taken out. Even if they can be taken out, the silver they have eaten is definitely not worth taking out again. Why should I repay the money borrowed from Qin Keqing based on my abilities? Today, not only Jia Rong has arrived, but also the eldest master of Ningua Prefecture, Jia Zhen himself, has arrived. Jia Yun is also unhappy and unwilling to give them face. However, people under the eaves have to bow their heads. Jia Yun suppressed her anger and turned to Jia Rong, saying, Brother Rong, this money is a new loan. Where in this world is the principle of having someone repay the money immediately when someone just lent it? Besides, we are relatives of our own family. How can we cut off kindness and righteousness like this when it comes to relatives' relief? How magnificent and prestigious the roaming mansions are! If there is a conflict and a rift between us over this meager 100 taels of silver, wouldn't it be enough to make the nobles of Xinjing laugh at us? If the old lady, Mrs. Jia, and the ladies were to know about this, they would also be troubled. I think you should come back later. Upon hearing this, Jia Rong looked at Jia Yun and muttered to her, Why am I getting more and more upset? Am I also falling in love with men like my father? I've heard about my father's affair with Jia Chang for a long time, and may I have also been thinking about Jia Yun. Although indifferent on the surface, there was no response, only because a nauseating evil thought had sprouted in my heart, I couldn't help but feel that some empress dowager was afraid. When was there such a handsome person with such a beautiful logo in the Jia mansion? He had never heard of it before. If he hadn't come over today to ask for money, it would have been difficult for him to see such a charming person. Jia Rong's face and expression became increasingly uncomfortable, and Jia Yun also realized it was not right. She found that she had gradually begun to integrate the power of the AI template, with a significant increase in her charm and strength. If he had been handsome and elegant before, now he is a charming and stunning male character. Can't he have any ulterior motives towards me? Jia Yun suddenly remembered the unique hobbies of the people in the Jia mansion in Dream of the Red Chamber. If she were really targeted by Jia Rong and Jia Zhen, it would be difficult for her to escape Jia Chang's initial fate originally, this name was Jia Chang, also a legitimate great-grandson of the Ning family. His parents had passed away early and he had been living with Jia Zhen since childhood. 
Now, he has grown sixteen years old and is even more charming and handsome than Jia Rong's. His brothers are the closest and often coexist with each other. The people of the Ning family are diverse, and those unsuccessful servants are skilled in slandering and slandering their masters. Therefore, I don't know what kind of petty people have criticized and slandered their masters. Jia Zhen thinks that he has heard some rumors, but his own voice is not very good, so he wants to avoid some suspicion. Now, he is separated from the house. I ordered Jia Chang to move out of Ning Mansion and set up a family to make a living. In her past life, Jia Yun was also curious after reading about the plot of Jia Chang in Dream of the Red Chamber. She wondered if Jia Zhen intended to tamper with Jia Chang. It cannot be said that there is really such a possibility. In this era, it is normal for nobles to raise male pets or actors, and this is the relationship between Jiang Yuhan and the loyal prince, Jia Lian moved to the study outside for half a month due to Xiao Jie's acne outbreak. Due to sleeping alone and having nowhere to vent his desires, he found two handsome servants to vent his anger. At night, the Ningua mansion would gather for gambling and drinking with the accompaniment of child molesters. Lu Xianglian likes to make guest appearances in romantic dramas and literature, so Xue Pan assumes that he is willing to play the role of being taken care of, for Xue Pan. He has a long yang personality and is related to several elementary school students such as Jin Rong. Jia Yun is still guessing in her heart. Jia Rong's next sentence completely made Jia Yun feel cold. Yun, you're absolutely right. We are relatives of our own family, and we shouldn't cut off kindness and righteousness like this, making outsiders laugh at us. In the future, you and my family should also move around more. I see that Yun Gu is getting old and it's time to come out and seek a survival career. However, my family is short of someone who grows flowers and plants. Tomorrow, you can come and help us raise flowers and plants in Ningua Prefecture. It's also a casual job, begging for a living. Jia Yun frowned at the words and said, Are you planning to get close to the moon and get yourself inside? I just sneered in my heart, I'm afraid you'll lose your wife and your troops. Chapter 4 Entering Ningua Prefecture You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, Ningua Mansion, Main Wing Room Jia Zhen, the hereditary third-rank noble and noble general, walked around her small room, teasing the small birds kept in the cage. She also held bird food in her hand, teasing the birds, humming a tune in her mouth, and said, My daughter dot in dot law is also a virtuous woman. Even if she found several opportunities to get close, she couldn't easily succeed. However, that's enough flavor. If she easily succumbed to me, it would be boring. Jia Zhen only went to Qin Keqing's room yesterday to disturb her, inevitably being looked at by the maid Bao Zhu. She felt resentful and unfair, but dared not say anything more. In such a period where one cannot see the light and cannot be forced, it is easy to cause trouble if one is too aggressive. For many years since the founding of the great Qian dynasty, Emperor Taizu, in order to deter and restrain wealthy families and enforce strict laws and regulations, has killed many corrupt officials and corrupt officials. So much so that, at that time, both civil and military officials in the Manchu dynasty were in danger and dared not provoke the emperor long way. Jia Zhen also experienced that dark period when she was young, so she always hesitated and dared not act rashly about forcing Qin Keqing. However, as time passed and the world became peaceful, the court also showed a tendency to relax and slack off its control in this regard. To this day, if the ruling elites make mistakes, they can also pay ransom money in order to salvage themselves. Jia Zhen then became more and more reckless, snorting coldly in her heart, does my son know anything about romantic relationships between men and women? The daughter dot in dot law there is as beautiful as a fairy. If we can be happy with her, she will die under the peony flowers, and even being a ghost would be charming. Nowadays, wealthy families with extremely high achievements can be inherited without succession. After the death of Duke Ningua, 
Jia Jing was intoxicated with the elixir of immortals, so he let Jia Zhen inherit the title. After Jia Zhen inherited the title, the four major families continued to prosper and prosper, with their family ties still intact to this day. In the second verse of Mencius, Li Lu Zhang Ju Xia, section 22, it is said. The virtue of a gentleman is to be beheaded for five generations, the virtue of a petty person is to be beheaded for five generations. To be a disciple of Confucius before being obtained, to be a private and virtuous person. If future generations of grandchildren do not aspire to the imperial examination and official career, but instead shine on their family and ancestors, then after five generations, they will become ordinary people's homes and difficult to become the doors of dukes and nobles. The Book of Changes, Wen Yen Chuan, Kuan Wen Yen A house that accumulates good will have a surplus celebration, and a house that accumulates evil will have a surplus calamity. For example, in the Jia family, although Jia Zhen inherited the title, she did not strive for progress and was loyal to the monarch and the country. The upper class cannot maintain the family's wealth for a long time, and the lower class cannot empathize with the lower class. He indulges in extravagance all day long, indulging in debauchery and shamelessness, although there are many wives and concubines, they are still thinking about their daughter. In law Qin Kaching in their hearts. How can such a ridiculous and shameless person make Ningua Prefecture prosper for a long time? At this moment, Jia Zhen was addicted to the dream of gentleness and prosperity in her hometown. She looked down at the spring outside and said, The garden is full of spring. Whatever I say this year, I will get my good daughter. In law in my hands. While pondering, a servant stepped into the courtyard from outside. After entering, a person followed behind him, pointing and pointing at various parts of the courtyard, as if explaining something. Who is that person? Why haven't you seen him before? He has an extraordinary and handsome appearance, resembling a fairy like charm. For a moment, Jia Zhen looked down at the handsome young man below, but her heart also became a bit hot. She quickly summoned the maid Wanner beside her, pointed to the handsome young man outside, and said, Who is that person? He looks very familiar. How could there be an unfamiliar outsider face in the mansion recently out of thin air? Wanner, who was carefully waiting on the side, looked at Jia Zhen with fear of getting scolded if she didn't answer properly. She turned to look at the handsome young man outside the window, lowered her head and pondered for a moment before speaking up, that's Jia Yun, the son of the fifth sister. In. Law in the West Corridor of Rongwa Mansion He came this morning and said that the young master invited him to come and take care of the flowers and plants. Jia Zhen hesitated for a moment before saying, Go find my rebellious son. I have something to say to him. Upon hearing this, one heir quickly lowered her head and took leave. When Jia Rong received the news, she hurriedly rushed over and saw Jia Zhen sitting on a hollowed out and carved chair, looking at Jia Rong with a gloomy expression and scolding, kneel down. Jia Rong was shocked by the words, but she didn't dare to resist. She quickly knelt down on the ground, not knowing why Jia Zhen was angry. Father, why are you angry at me? Useless bastard, you're not learning well now, are you? Did you let someone bring in that delicate Jia Yun outside? What a damn beast! Upon hearing this, Jia Rong was even more alarmed. She saw Jia Zhen pick up a wooden stick that had been prepared in advance and hit it on the table next to her. She quickly dodged it and explained, Father, I see that Jia Yun is pitiful. It's not easy to pity their mother and son. That's why she arranged for him to be a gardener planting flowers and trees in Ningua Prefecture. There's no other intention. Suddenly, I remembered that I had a different kind of emotion towards Jia Yun before, and my heart became increasingly restless. He also realized that he didn't match his father and son, but rather looked like an enemy. Especially after Jia Rong married Qin Keqing, his gaze became even more inappropriate. ZhaoZhuyuan.com Although Jia Rong had some speculations in her heart and heard the comments and slanders of the servants, she ultimately dared not resist. In this feudal era, if a ruler wants his subjects to die, 
he dare not refuse to die, a father wants his son to die, but he dares not to die. If Jia Zhen killed Jia Rong in the name of educating her son, I'm afraid Jia Rong will only become a wrongful death ghost. At this moment, Jia Zhen also stopped her hand, holding the wooden stick and froze in mid-air. Then she slowly lowered it and returned to her position with a stern face. She sat down again and said, Are you really not having an affair with that person outside? Absolutely not, I swear to the heavens. Jia Rong quickly begged for mercy, but dared not show any dissatisfaction. Jia Zhen saw Jia Rong's pitiful appearance and thought of his daughter. In. La Qin Kiching's immortal face, which made her increasingly displeased with him. She frowned and said, let's not do it again. After speaking, he instructed, let Jia Yun from outside come in and see me. The neighbors on both sides, since they are from the same branch of Rongwa Mansion, can also be considered as family members who always want to see each other. Seeing Jia Yun relax, Jia Rong also breathed a sigh of relief in her heart. However, when Jia Rong heard Jia Yun's meaning, she didn't really want to scold herself. It was clear that she was looking for an excuse to let Jia Yun come over. He has heard that Jia Zhen often gets close to Jia Chang. Jia Yunsheng is as charming and charming as Jia Chang, and in Jia Rong's eyes, she is even more charming than Jia Chang. If Jia Zhen sees this, wouldn't it be another bad thing? Although Jia Rong was filled with anger and fear in her heart, she dared not show any trace of it. Because in this Ningua prefecture, Jia Zhen is the largest ruler of the entire Ningua prefecture. Chapter 5 Exploring Jia Chang You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, suppressing the anger in her heart, Jia Zhen slowly closed her eyes and said calmly, Why don't you go? Listening to Jia Zhen's words, Jia Rong quickly went out and brought Jia Yun in. Jia Yun also muttered to herself when she saw Jia Zhen, What's up with Jia Zhen asking me to come over here? Although she was puzzled, Jia Yun remained calm and composed. In fact, she didn't have to be afraid of Jia Zhen at all. If she took the risk, she could easily protect herself in a one dot on point one situation with the force value provided by the AI template, so as not to lose her innocence. Jia Yun gradually mastered the power of templates and was able to restrain this charm of nowhere to be placed. Jia Yun nowadays has almost the same charm as Lu Xianglian. Jia Yun saw Jia Zhen and quickly greeted her, saying, I've seen the old master before, please greet him. Are you Jia Yun? The son of sister. In. La Wu in the West Corridor. Jia Zhen carefully scrutinized Jia Yun, looking up and down with both eyes. The more she looked at him, the more satisfied she became, and her heart was filled with anger. She changed her previous strict demeanor and said, Since you have come to our Ningua mansion to be a gardener, you must abide by the rules of our Ningua mansion. You should inquire less about the affairs inside the mansion and come and get closer to me more often, which will benefit you. Nuo. Jia Yun didn't take it seriously and said to herself, If I come over to get close to you, wouldn't I be wanted by you? Some words cannot be expressed clearly, so I have to hold back and eventually find an opportunity to avenge this. All right, you go down first. My son Jia Rong was present, and Jia Zhen didn't want to get too close to Jia Yun to avoid being laughed at and spreading bad rumors. After all, it was still a wealthy family that needed to maintain their dignity. Therefore, she glanced at Jia Yun a few more times before agreeing to let her go. Jia Rong originally thought that Jia Zhen would become increasingly angry, but she did not expect that Jia Zhen's attitude had eased a lot and she also followed suit and retreated. Jia Zhen, who had been keeping her eyes closed and meditating, pondered on Jia Yun's situation. She is indeed a handsome beauty, but unfortunately, she is a fellow disciple of the Rongwa Mansion, not a member of the Ningwa Mansion. Jia Zhen also had some thoughts about Jia Yun, but she hesitated when she thought about her identity. If Jia Yun does not comply and causes trouble, let the old lady Jia Mu from Rongwa Mansion know about this matter. He is afraid that he will not be able to explain it well, and it will become a laughing stock, 
which will damage the dignity of Ningua Mansion. At this moment, he was still thinking of Qin Keqing. If he gets tired of holding Qin Keqing in his hands, perhaps he will take action against Jia Yun. Things need to be prioritized and prioritized. For Jia Zhen, Qin Keqing is a must-have. Since Jia Zhen first saw Qin Keqing, he has been fascinated by his immortal appearance and has been thinking about it. As the saying goes, a tower near a water receives the moon first. As Qin Keqing's father dot in dot law, there were plenty of opportunities to get close to him, and Jia Zhen, who was waiting for the opportunity, seemed to feel much better. After leaving the room, Jia Rong, who was bathed in thunder, felt lingering fear and dared not linger here, so she quickly ran away. Jia Yun next to her was lost in thought, feeling like she was about to start causing trouble. Jia Zhen is not dead, and his heart is uneasy. After getting familiar with Ningua Prefecture, he didn't have much to do that day. After some thought, he went to find Jia Chang. Faced with the problem of innocence, does Jia Chang not have such a problem? No, Jia Yun guesses that Jia Chang is facing greater danger than herself. If we use Jia Chang as a springboard to tease and discuss Jia Zhen, perhaps Jia Zhen will also calm down for some time. He asked someone about Jia Chang's residence and found that he had already guessed in his heart next to Jia Rong's room. When he saw a handsome young man, he quickly shouted, Someone, but Mr. Chang. Jia Chiangsheng, with his charming and charming demeanor, was also a handsome figure. Upon hearing this, he slowly turned around, opened his eyes, and looked up, only to find himself stunned. He thought to himself, what a handsome and cultured young man. Who is this person? He looks unfamiliar, but he hasn't seen him before. Without mentioning Jia Chang's doubts, Jia Yun saw the situation and arched his hand, saying, My surname is Jia, my name is Yun, and I am the son of the fifth sister dot in dot law in the west corridor of Rongwa Mansion. Can you say it's Yun Er Yi? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please come inside. Upon hearing Jia Yun's self-introduction, Jia Chang quickly grabbed her and entered the room inside to discuss. After taking a glance, Jia Yun didn't hesitate and walked in step by step. As Jia Chang went to fetch tea and pour water, he sat there calmly and calmly. His heart moved and he said cautiously, Brother Chang, I once heard those servants and maids discussing the relationship between you, Master Zhen, and Brother Rong in Ningua Mansion. It was somewhat unpleasant. Upon hearing this, Jia Chang snorted coldly and her face suddenly darkened. With an ironclad face, she said, it must be those villains chewing their tongues behind their backs again. If I know who it is, it will definitely make it difficult for them. But Yin Gu Er, how did you come to Ningua Prefecture? Jia Chang was suspicious and had no contact with Jia Yunsu. Today, Jia Yun suddenly came to visit, which was quite strange. Jia Yun replied, I asked Rong Gur for a job as a gardener in Ningua Prefecture. Therefore, I will come to Ningua Prefecture frequently for activities in the future. Upon hearing this, Jia Chang was also shocked and said, Brother Yun, look for Xu Yuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com. Are you coming to Ningua Prefecture to be a gardener in the future? MMM. Jia Chang was also taken aback at the words. As she listened to Jia Yun's next sentence, her heart thumped even more. Master Zhen, I just invited me over and I'm a bit confused, so I came to ask you about the specific situation. Faced with such a situation, it was obviously a big surprise for him. Speaking of which, he really doesn't know nothing. Recently, the high dot ranking officials and nobles in Xinjiang have become popular with men, and Jia Zhen has also started to show some signs of tampering with him. Jia Chang was also shy about talking about this matter and dared not talk to outsiders, but the people in the mansion are still spreading rumors and causing trouble, not allowing him to live a peaceful life. For a moment, Jia Chang was also in a dilemma. Jia Chang has been living with Jia Zhen since she was young, and she didn't have many thoughts. However, as soon as Jia Yun came in and talked about this matter, she couldn't help but feel a sense of empathy. 
she immediately said, I am also in a difficult situation about this matter. I didn't expect Yun Gu Er to be the same. In today's world, it's really hard to say such things. Not only Jia Zhen from Ningua Mansion, but also Jia Lian from Rongua Mansion. Lian Eryi has once sought out a delicate servant to vent his anger. Ningua Mansion and Rongua Mansion are so close, and they have always been close. How could they not be clear or unaware of this? Jia Chang is quite introverted. After all, he is still a young man in his teens who has not yet fully developed his mind. He spends his days fighting chickens and dogs with Jia Rong and Jia Zhen, admiring flowers and willows, and reading books. How can he come up with a way to cope? I have to obey and dare not resist. Upon seeing Jia Chang's appearance, Jia Yun pondered for a moment and spoke tentatively, I don't know, Brother Chang, do you have the idea of leaving Ningua Prefecture and establishing your own family? Chapter 6 Deep Affection Between Siblings, Getting Extra Money You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals Window Ads by Google Push, Ningua Prefecture, West Wing Room Jia Chang looked at Jia Yun with a surprised expression on her face, then secretly walked to the door, looked around, and found that no one was outside the room. She quickly walked over to Jia Yun's side, approached her, and deliberately lowered her voice, saying, Yun, I also have this idea in my heart, but it can work. All the people in Ningua Prefecture were fearless and afraid of Jia Zhen's authority. They had to bow their heads under the eaves, and Jia Chang's decent face was full of worry and fear. At this moment, Jia Yun looked at Jia Chang who was close to her and said calmly, Since I dare to come and find you, I must have a good plan. As long as you follow what I say, you will definitely be able to establish your own home and go out independently. Upon hearing this, Jia Chang was even more alarmed. Suddenly, she remembered how Jia Zhen had been tampering with her, and her mind became even more determined to establish her own home and go out independently. He also noticed that Jia Yun in front of him had a confident and composed demeanor, and his words were convincing, willing to get close to him. However, Jia Chang was unaware that Jia Yun had already used the flowery language provided by the AI template on him. This special skill used to persuade others is definitely an extremely exquisite skill. Since Jia Yun entered this room, he has been using this special skill to distract Jia Chang's mind and continue, however, I cannot help you for nothing. What do you want? Although Jia Chang knew in her heart that there might not be a free lunch at the end of the day, since Jia Yun made a request for a transaction, it further indicated that there was a scene this time. She glanced at Jia Yun again and found it more pleasing. This was not just about looking at a stranger of similar age, but clearly about looking at her best friend. For Jia Chang now, Jia Yun's words are full of magic, but they are even closer than Jia Zhen's. After pondering for a moment, Jia Yun looked at Jia Chang and said, I want 100 tails of silver. A hundred tails of silver. So much. Jia Chang was also surprised, this is a hundred tails of silver. For him, it's not a small amount either. The money that Qin Kiching can take out is his own dowry, which is usually given by his mother's family. Although the Qin family may not be considered a wealthy family, they cannot afford to harm their daughter. Before leaving, Qin Keqing also gave silver as a personal allowance for the future. However, Jia Chang relied solely on the relief and upbringing of the Ningua prefecture, and although she was extremely shocked, she dared not show any dissatisfaction, because in this Ningua prefecture, only Jia Yun came to talk about this matter and was willing to help him. If I miss Jia Yun, I'm afraid my innocent body won't be able to be saved. Speaking of which, Jia Chang does not dislike Jia Rong, but she is extremely disgusted with Jia Zhen. Jia Zhencheng's lack of elegance is disgusting. As a good dot looking party, he naturally couldn't tolerate Jia Zhen's tampering with him. Previously, due to Jia Zhen's identity and status, he dared not resist at all and forcibly suppressed his anger. However, this does not mean that Jia Chang is willing to let it go and continue like this. Jia Yun looked at Jia Chang, took her hand, 
and said, Although we are not brothers, we are also descendants of the same family in the Jia family. One hundred tails of silver is already the bottom line price. If outsiders come to me for advice, I'm afraid we will lose one thousand tails of silver. I definitely won't do it. I don't want you to give me money immediately. After I get you out of the business, you can give me money. How about that? Jia Yun was also aware that Jia Chang didn't have much money on him, and even his life depended on the looks of Jia Rong and Jia Zhen. How could such a person who was raised have any spare money? Therefore, after Jia Yun proposed the concept of future payment, Jia Chang also closed her eyes and pondered for a long time. After gritting her teeth and going all out, she cowed out to Jia Yun and said, Yun, if you really can help me establish an independent portal, I will promise you. From now on, you will be my brothers with deep affection. The ubiquitous charm value deeply influences Jia Chang's choices about various things. After seeing Jia Yun, she also obeys her words and is impressed by her sweet words. Jia Yun quickly stood up and picked up Jia Chang, with a look of anger on her face. She said, I was also targeted by Master Zhen, and I had no choice but to come and find Brother Chang. He hurriedly said, But don't be afraid, Brother Chang. I won't be the kind of person who casually talks to people. Although Mr. Zhen is the head of the Ningua Mansion, Brother Chang, you are also the legitimate grandson of the Ningua sect, and Grandpa Tai was also the legitimate son of the Ningua Duke. When dividing the family, there must be a portion of the property inside. I originally thought that after being driven out of Ningua Prefecture, I would have fewer sources of income and life would be difficult. When Jia Chang heard Jia Yun's words, she was also moved by her thoughts. However, she still felt a bit afraid of Jia Zhen and said, This thing really works. What if Grandpa Zhen refuses to share some of my property and drives me out directly? At the end of the day, Jia Chang is also a wealthy young man who is not eager to make progress. He has become accustomed to following Jia Zhen and Jia Rong from Ningua Prefecture and has no ability to make a living by searching for the book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com. Once he leaves the independent portal, he is afraid that his survival will be a problem. Jia Yun seemed to have predicted earlier, please come and listen to us. This way. This way. This way. What do you think, Yunj? You're really too smart. Jia Chang also didn't expect Jia Yun to have such a mysterious technique. She nodded directly and agreed, saying, Okay, I'll do as you said. Brother Chang, don't worry, as long as you follow what I said, you will definitely land safely. Upon hearing this, Jia Yun also comforted Jia Chang and said, However, don't tell Rong Gu Er about this matter. If you know about it with Rong Gu Er, I'm afraid Mr. Zhen will also know. We are all people on the same boat now. If I'm unlucky, you'll be even more unlucky. Everyone prospers, everyone loses. In the future, be careful when speaking. Jia Chang nodded and said, I will pay attention to this matter. Next, Jia Yun left this place and went to find another very important person, the old slave of Ningua Prefecture, Jiao De. Jiao De, an old servant of Ningua Prefecture. I have performed three or four times as a soldier with Duke Jia of Ningua since I was young, and have carried the dying master out of the pile of dead people. Without food to eat, he went hungry to steal something for the master to eat. There was no water to drink, so he drank horse urine himself and gave the master half a bowl of water he had obtained. Due to his past merits, the lords of the Ning mansion looked at him differently and did not find it difficult for him. This person also has great courage and can't stand the style issues of the Ningua prefecture. Therefore, Jia Yun is confident in bringing him over, and this person is also the most crucial part of the entire plan. Chapter 7 Enraging Jiao De You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, Ningua Prefecture, Stable. Jiao De had some free time today and hid in this place to steal drinks. 
the veteran soldiers who once roamed the battlefield gradually gained weight and lost their spirit and spirit through the baptism of time. He closed his eyes and waited for the sunshine, only to find a large shadow before him. He couldn't help but open his drunken and hazy eyes, slowly opening them and looking up. He saw a delicate and gentle young man lying on the haystack in the stable with a puzzled expression, his heart moving slightly, as if drunk or awake, saying. Who are you? Why are you blocking me from sunbathing? Get out of here, don't disturb my good mood. Jia Yun snorted coldly when she heard this, feeling quite dissatisfied. Jiao De, do you deserve the heavy trust of the old Duke of Ningua with your current appearance? You've been drunk all day, so you dare not open your eyes and look at the dirty things inside the Ningua mansion. Seemingly awakened by Jia Yun's cold snort and words, Jiao De opened his lazy eyes, supported his head with his right hand, and shook it vigorously before grumbling discontentedly, saying, Who are you? He looks very fresh, probably not from our Ningua prefecture. Jiao De saw that although Jia Yun was dressed in a simple green robe, there was always a heroic aura between his eyebrows, similar to the old Duke of Ningua. He was equally charming and extraordinary, and his spirit was definitely not that of playboys like Ningua Mansion who spent their days seeking pleasure and were not eager to make progress. This person actually appeared in Ningua Prefecture and even brought himself, but Jiao De couldn't figure it out for a while. I am Jia Yun, the son of the fifth sister dot in dot law in Zalangxia, a fellow branch of Rongua Prefecture. Upon hearing this, Jiao De was taken aback and instantly lost all his drowsiness, clearly surprised by the answer. Speaking of which, he is not a useless person, at least his status is not low in both Ningua Prefecture and Rongua Prefecture. Back then, there was even the credit for saving the Duke of Ningua. As long as Jiao De was willing to be a submissive servant, like the Lai family, pleasing the people of Ningua Mansion, he was afraid that the steward of Ningua Mansion would not be Lai heir's turn. However, Jiao De came from a military background and had a military temperament. He would rather die than surrender and be willing to be like Chu Yuan. Otherwise, he would not have been disgusted and excluded by Jia Zhen and others, arranging the most tiring work, completely disregarding Jiao Da's kindness to the Ningua prefecture back then. In the current world, most of the high dot ranking officials and nobles are white-eyed wolves, and there are few people who value kindness and affection. Those who uphold righteousness often slaughter dogs, while those who betray others often become scholars. Not only Jia Zhen, but also there are few loyal and innocent people in the current Rongua prefecture. Jiao De looked at Jia Yun in astonishment and pondered, since you are the descendant of Duke Rongua, why don't you come to our Ningua mansion next to Rongua mansion? A few days ago, Brother Rong asked me to come over and work as a gardener in Ningua prefecture. Jia Yun also did not conceal it. Everyone in the Ningua prefecture knows about this matter, and it cannot be considered a secret. To be honest, there is nothing to say. Jia Yun lowered her body and looked at Jiao De, then said, How did Prince Ningua treat you back then? That goes without saying. We are brothers of life and death. Even when old Ningua was alive, he respected me greatly and often gave me good wine and food. His life and treatment were also excellent. A hint of pride appeared on Jiao Da's face, reminiscing about the happy days of the past and inevitably recalling these beautiful days. He said, Why are you asking this? Jia Yun, who dared to come find Jiao De, was also someone with some means. After thinking for a moment, he said, How are you doing now? Upon hearing this, Jiao Da's face slightly changed and he immediately became anxious. He said, Brother Yun, what do you mean by this? At the moment, I just didn't give face to Jia Yun and spat and cursed, which pot doesn't open and which pot doesn't open. But if those beasts respect and show filial piety to me, I wouldn't end up like this. There's no real person who plays with dogs and chickens every day, crawls ashes, or raises uncles. After cursing profusely, he said again, if you come over to find someone to curse at, I don't welcome you here. Hurry up and get out of here you're obstructing me from sunbathing. Even if Jia Yun knew that Jiao De was brave enough, 
she was completely shocked by what she said. Personally experiencing it was completely different from reading, and at the same time, she also had some favorable feelings for Jiao De in her heart, making her more confident I thought to myself that if I were to tell Lai De this way, he would be willing to agree. For loyal and brave soldiers like Jiao De, honor and kindness are equally important than life and death. If he were willing to help Jia Yun, it would be like adding wings like a tiger, making a big difference from then on. Next, Jia Yun looked at Jiao De and whispered in a low voice, Old Ningguo Gong has shown kindness and righteousness to you. Now that the legitimate descendant of Old Ningguo Gong is in trouble, will you help or not? If you don't help, you will be a disloyal and unjust person. Such a petty person, then I have misjudged the person. Immediately, Jia Yun stood up and turned to walk. After taking a few steps, she confidently counted the numbers and looked for the book garden www.chaoshuyuan.com. One, two, three, four. If Jiao De does not persuade Jia Yun to stay, it means that Jiao De will not help. If Jiao De is willing to help Jia Yun, then Jiao De will stop Jia Yun. Jia Yun is gambling, and the gambling conference calls him. For a soldier who values loyalty and righteousness, mocking him for being heartless and unjust is the biggest negation and criticism of his entire life. Any soldier with blood will never tolerate this. As expected, Jiao Dalian quickly stopped Jia Yun and said, Wait a minute. What did you mean by what you just said? Tell me well. If you don't explain it clearly today, I'm afraid I won't let you go. Taking advantage of the strong alcohol, Jiao De also stood up and stopped Jia Yun, ready to confront her and make a clear statement. Jia Yun looked around and realized that this was not the place to talk, so she left Ningua Prefecture with Jiao De and went to a remote place outside for a long conversation. For Jia Yun, who possesses special skills, solving Jia Chang is easy, relying on her charm value is enough. However, in order for Jiao De to be convinced and help, more means are needed. Clever language is definitely a must-have. In addition, some strategies also need to be applied. Jia Yun, who came to the corner, pointed to the stone stool and said, I was Meng Lang before, but I didn't know the real heroes. Today, I really saw the real people. Previously, with a fierce and sarcastic attack, Jiao Da's face turned red and his ears turned red with anger. Now, Jia Yun is focusing on defense and using a gentle strategy. After Jia Yun's scolding, Jiao De also became much clearer. He waved his hand and said, You haven't explained it to me yet. Chapter 8 Money 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 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals Window. Ads by Google. Push, recently, Grandpa Zhen has learned from other powerful figures and started to become popular in playing with men's sex. If Grandpa Zhen were to find someone else, I wouldn't mind this matter. However, Grandpa Zhen has taken a liking to the righteous and great-grandson of Ningua Prefecture. Brother Chan, that's my life and death brother. Jia Yun was filled with righteous indignation and said, I really can't bear to see my life and death brothers, who share the same brotherhood, be defiled by Master Zhen. And you probably have heard rumors about Rong Gu Er, Zhen De Yi, and Chang Gu Er too. If this matter were to escalate, the entire Ningua prefecture would have a shameless face. Even if our ancestor, Zong Chuanxia, knew about it, I'm afraid he wouldn't close his eyes in death. After Jia Yun expanded this matter, she had already begun to bring disaster onto the late Duke of Ningua, Jia Yen. Sure enough, upon hearing this, Jiao Da's face changed dramatically, his heart surged, and he was extremely angry. He said with a strong hatred, I knew it, I knew it, I knew these people. Undoubtedly, as a loyal and brave old slave, Jiao Dashi naturally couldn't stand the style of these powerful figures. Especially I can't stand the style of Jia Zhen and Jia Rong. Jia Zhen has a crush on Jia Chang, this is a major event that has pierced the sky. If outsiders find out, they may lose the innocence of Jia Zhen, Jia Rong, and Jia Chang. After all, their relationship is not with outsiders, 
but with people of the same ethnic lineage. Even if Jia Zhen is the chieftain of Ningua Prefecture, it cannot be said that he can come whatever he wants based on his own will. Jiao De immediately looked at Jia Yun and said, What do you want me to do? I also pondered in my heart, this Jia Yun looks young, but she is brave and strategic. Old Rongwa Gong has produced a promising descendant. He not only couldn't stand the young masters of Ningua Prefecture, but also the old masters and young masters of Rongwa Prefecture. The two prefectures are of the same lineage and ethnicity, and they are close together. Jiao De is well aware of the level of the young masters of the two families. What role is Jia Baoyu? A mischievous demon king wandering in the backyard, without considering fame or achievement. What is the role of Jia Huan? Being lazy all day, idle, and having an inappropriate appearance, it can be annoying. Including these people from Ningua Prefecture. The Jia family can be said to be rotten to the root. Now Jiao De, seeing Jia Yun's demeanor, also sighed inwardly, as the young masters of the Jia family, why can't they have one-tenth or two of Yun Ji's demeanor? Just as Jiao De sighed, Jia Yun narrowed the distance between them and said, I have already discussed with Brother Chang and asked him to find an opportunity, a remote place, to beat Mr. Zhen first and teach this immature descendant a lesson for his ancestors. How can this be done? If anyone finds out, we will both be driven out. It's not innocent to cause trouble and be killed. Jiao De was also shocked by Jia Yun's courage when he heard this, and quickly waved his hand, refusing to agree. The moon is dark and the wind is high, and we are covering our faces. Even though you have lived in Ningua Prefecture for so many years, can't you still find a remote and uninhabited corner? As long as you don't say it, I don't say it, and Brother Chang doesn't say it, who would know that we did this. Jia Yun has a lot of courage. With the help of the AI template, he already possesses decent military power. Therefore, he is not afraid to confront Jia Zhen. Even Jiao De cannot be said to be able to win the battle. Jiao De, if you don't think for yourself, you also have to think for the old Duke of Ningua under the Nine Springs. You don't want to let the old Duke of Ningua live a lifetime of fame because these immature descendants have ruined a clean life. Let's die with peace in our eyes. At this moment, Jia Yun seized the opportunity to shake Jiao Da's mind with sweet words, slowly guiding his emotions and controlling them in her own hands. Okay, I agree. After shaking his head to dispel the fear in his heart, Jiao Da gave birth to a tiger wolf heart and agreed. Okay. It's a deal. When there's a chance, I'll notify you in advance. Jia Yun is unwilling to let more people participate. After all, after beating Jia Zhen, the three of them would be like grasshoppers on the same boat. No one dared to speak recklessly, advancing and retreating together, sharing life and death. This can be considered as giving Jia Yun complete trust and utilization in Ningua Prefecture, making many future plans much easier. After discussing some specific details, the two parted ways. Having arranged the planning for Jia Zhen, Jia Yun also began to plan for her future. Entering the school. Go for the imperial examination. All things are inferior, only reading is high. In this era, there is no doubt that entering the official career through the imperial examination is the simplest and most direct way for a person to change their destiny. If you pass the imperial examination and become a Juren, you can become an official. Jia Yun's requirements should not be too high. The template of AI's intelligence can at most make him unforgettable. The levels of Tong Sheng and Xiao Kai are easy to pass, while the level of Ju Ren is to test the reading comprehension of the eight part essay, which is very difficult. He does not seek high school again, only seeks not to fall behind, and seeks stability in the middle. Reading the imperial examination is a necessary path. Of course, this road is destined to be difficult, and Jia Yun also knows in her heart the difficulty of entering school. Especially at the foot of this imperial city, where there are many talented people, the fierce competition is even stronger than elsewhere. Moreover, rote memorization also requires guidance from renowned teachers. 
If someone helps, it will undoubtedly be easier and easier to find the imperial examination at the Shuyuan www.jiaozhuyuan.com. In the evening, Jia Yun returned to her home and lit an oil lamp, emitting a slightly hot light. A hunched woman was sewing old clothes under the dim light. Seeing her mother, Bu Shi, threading needles and threads, Jia Yun felt a pang of sadness. Her kind mother was holding the thread, and every inch of her heart was broken. Ever since she found out that Jia Yun had borrowed money from Qin Keqing, Bu Shi became even more diligent, just to repay the money for her son in advance. Although Bu Shi was aware in her heart that it would take many years to repay the money on time, in a poor family, the emphasis was on the word, faithfulness. As a mother, she should set a good example in front of her children. Bu Shi had also heard of the story of Meng Mu's three relocations. Although she was not as visionary as Meng Mu, she also had Meng Mu's love for her son. When she saw Jia Yun come in, she turned around and said, My son. You are not young, and although you have a plan, you cannot last long. Why did you borrow silver before? I don't care. I just want to ask you, what do you plan to do in the future? Do you plan to become a lifelong gardener? Flower maker, flower maker, how can you have a good future? Bu's persuasion also moved Jia Yun. The scene before him constantly tells Jia Yun that he needs to make money to support his family as soon as possible, and at least improve the living environment at home. Krypton lottery requires money. Improving one's life also requires money. Even entering the imperial examination system requires money. Qian Qian Qian, now Jia Yun closed her eyes and her mind was full of money. After taking a deep breath for a long time, Jia Yun opened her eyes and said solemnly, I want to take the imperial examination. Chapter 9 Jia Fu Yi Shui You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, Jia Fu Yi Shui Originally, this school of righteousness was not far from home. It was originally established by the ancestors on that day, and those who feared that their descendants would not be able to continue their studies due to their strong abilities entered this school to study. Those who hold official positions within their ethnic group receive assistance in the form of silver coins, which is considered as a valuable aid in their studies, those who are highly respected and virtuous in their years are selected as school teachers. The person in charge of private school teaching to this day is Jia Dairu from Rongwa Prefecture. Jia Dairu is the elder of the Dai generation in the Jia family, but in terms of achievements in his official career, he is not as good as Fan Jin, who was only promoted in his later years. At best, Jia Dairu is only a child in his old age. Jia Dairu is not directly related to the Jia family. It is impossible to become an official like Jia Shi, Jia Zhen and others. There is also no opportunity for Jia Zheng to make the emperor look at him and get an official like Yuan Wai Lang, by virtue of his filial relationship. Children in ancient times were less valuable than scholars. As the saying goes, a poor scholar is a corrupt scholar. Just because Jia Dairu did not pass the imperial examination, it was impossible for him to receive economic relief from the court solely based on his identity as a child student. Not to mention his identity as a child student, even as a scholar, he did not receive any relief food from the court. Therefore, although Jia Dairu was a private school teacher in the Jia family, he lived a poor life and could only rely on the relationship between his fellow disciples in the Jia family to barely become a teacher of a righteous school in the Jia family. This is also the result of the Jia family taking care of him. Otherwise, with the current status and status of the Jia family, Lin Ruhai could invite Jia Yutsuan, a Jinshir, to be the teacher for Lin Dayu. The Jia family may not be able to invite Jinshir above the Jiren level to teach the many students in need of enlightenment within the Jia family. Perhaps it was the aloofness and arrogance inherent in the core of the successful scholars who looked down upon these playboy children in the Jia family's academy, 
or perhaps it was the fact that the Jia family was only a child at the age of Jia Dairu, sympathizing with his father's loss in his early years and his son's loss in his middle age, with only one grandson as his companion. Considering the importance of being of the same clan, they took care of one or two children. In short, Jia Dairu became the teacher of the Jia family's education in a confused way. Also, because people believe that his knowledge is only average and cannot control the young masters of the Jia family, his teaching level is quite low. Just as Jia Yun entered the school, she was stopped by someone and said, Oh, isn't this Yun Gu? Recently, I heard that your foolish symptoms have completely improved and you have become a normal person. This is really a good thing. Upon hearing the voice, Jia Yun turned around and saw Jia Rui. This person had a beautiful appearance and a frivolous demeanor, not like a scholar. He looked very familiar and had to ask a question to know his identity. Excuse me, I don't know, are you? Me. After pointing to himself, Jia Rui laughed heartily and said happily, I am the grandson of the school teacher, surnamed Jia and named Rui. You can call me Rui Gu Er in the future. Upon hearing these words, Jia Yun suddenly realized. There are records about this person in Dream of the Red Chamber. This Jia Rui is in his twenties and is a collateral branch of the Jia family. He has a sibling relationship with Jia Lian and his parents passed away early, relying on his grandparents to make a living. His grandfather Jia Dairu was a respected teacher in the Jia family school, but his family was inevitably impoverished. Originally, Jia Rui was able to seek an official career through his studies, but he was also a person who never stopped seeking cheap things. Not only did he not study, but he often used public service to extort the children of the Jia family in the school, living like a local ruffian who bullied elementary school students. Although this person is the eldest grandson of Jia Dairu, a private school in the Jia family. But he was a greedy and lascivious person who fell in love with his sister. In. Law, Wang Shifeng, and eventually died in the Lovesickness Bureau set up by Wang Shifeng. With just such a person, Jia Yun naturally didn't want to get close to and make friends. She just politely bowed and said, Brother Rui, good. Yun, you may not understand the rules here when you first come to the school. A certain amount of silver needs to be paid in the school to improve one's learning. Otherwise, without this filial piety silver, one may not be able to learn true skills. Jia Rui is also a greedy and lecherous villain. Whenever Jia Dairu doesn't come to school for something, he will come to supervise these elementary school students. The students in Jia's elementary school are relatively young, weak and easy to deceive, and come from poor families. Being able to enter school is already asking for help from their parents and grandmothers, and humbly asking for help from people everywhere. Only then can they come in to make a living and have a chance to study. After all, the ethnic studies of the Jia family are not something that anyone can come in to study casually. For example, elementary school students like Jin Rong, Qin Zhong, Xiang Lian, and Yu Ai are the ones who are the most bullied. They were afraid that Jia Ruehu would pretend to be a tiger and force Jia Dairu to expel them from school. For these mentally undeveloped and weak elementary school students who have not read the scriptures for a few days, the education they receive from their parents is not to cause trouble in the school, to focus on studying, and even if they are bullied, they must endure it. Even if someone beats you, you cannot fight back. The family environment was not good, so they had a chance to eat for free, receive good treatment, and even have the opportunity to study. They naturally dared not offend Jia Rui, so Jia Rui became arrogant. As long as Jia Dairu did not come to the school, he would even extort these elementary school students, sucking on the bone and marrow, which was not the same thing. Now, when Jia Rui saw Jia Yun coming to school, he also had some ulterior motives and quickly stopped Jia Yun. He threatened, Brother Yun, this money is not for free. This is your filial piety money to show respect to the teacher. As long as you pay this money, I will cover you in the school in the future, and no one will dare to provoke or bully you. But if you don't pay this money, you are afraid of future things, so it's not easy to say. 
Faced with Jia Rui's extortion and threats, Jia Yun remained silent for a moment before saying, How much do you want? Not much, only five tails of silver. Upon hearing that there was a play, Jia Rui happily extended five fingers to Jia Yun and looked up and down at her, feeling secretly pleased and saying, It's another fat sheep, you can get rich again in the future. Jia Ruisi, who was feeling happy in her heart, had no idea that she had extorted the tiger's head this time, it was like seeking death. What is Jia Deru's teaching level? Can Jia Yun not know in his heart? Even if Jia Dairu was willing to teach Jia Yun, Jia Yun would not be willing to be taught by Jia Dairu, a sour and corrupt child who could not even pass the imperial examination for a lifetime. No one else, the rank is too low. Tong Sheng's rank does not qualify him to be Jia Yun's teacher at all. The people of Jia Mansion are constantly eating and waiting to die. Figures like Jia Dairu are dispensable. After all, they come to Jia Mansion's Ishue to study, but they are just passing the time and just slacking off, not taking it seriously. However, Jia Yun is different. He is a ruthless person who wants to take the imperial examination and enter the officialdom. Naturally, he will not be satisfied with the level of the Jia family's righteous education. The reason why he came here today is to come and take books to study on his own. Once he has learned enough and his level is in place, he can operate and copy a poem as a stepping stone to enter the prestigious teacher school. As for Jia Rui's extortion, Jia Yun snorted coldly in her heart, even I dare to extort. Let's see how I can punish you. Chapter 10 The Present World Report You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, Rongwa Mansion, Jia Mansion School, at the entrance. Jia Yun looked at Jia Rui, who was planning to extort elementary school students, and walked over with a gust of wind under her feet. With one hand, she lifted Jia Rui up, with a force value of up to 70, which was enough to deal with ordinary martial arts experts. Before following LV Bue, Gao Ai was also a ruthless character with impressive force. Therefore, after obtaining the AI template, Jia Yun not only gained extraordinary special abilities, but also possessed a certain degree of force value. It was quite easy to mention Jia Rui, a man of wine, bags, and rice bags. He even breathed heavily and said coldly, Do you still want money now? Brother Yun, no, Grandpa Yun, please spare me this time. I won't dare again next time. Jia Rui is a master who bullies the soft and fears the hard. When he sees Jia Yun's strength exploding, he can easily lift him with one hand, and his face is full of fear and panic. At this moment, Jia Yun looked at the trembling and trembling soft-footed shrimp in front of her and angrily cursed, worth of a useless thing, relying on being the grandson of a school teacher all day, how dare you recklessly blackmail the elementary school students of Jia Family School. You really are a damn beast. Jia Mansion is so lonely because of people like you. Do you dare to do it again next time? Jia Rui was shocked when he heard this, and suddenly felt that his feet were hanging in the air. Jia Rui lifted him up a considerable distance, and his heart became even more frightened, afraid that Jia Yun would beat him up. He also discovered that Jia Yun was not as easy to extort as those elementary school students in the school, nor was he a easily provoked master. Once he angered Jia Yun, he was afraid that he would inevitably be beaten up by good students. Since he entered the school, he has relied on his grandfather and grandson's status with Jia Dairu to dominate the entire school, which can be considered as a shining example and a face. In addition, with the money extorted from elementary school students in the school, life can be considered comfortable. I thought I had met a fat sheep again today. Who would have thought of hunting geese all year round, but now I have been blinded by the little geese. It can be considered a setback. Jia Rui quickly apologized and apologized, hoping that Jia Yun could spare himself this time based on the same lineage and ethnicity. Upon hearing this, Jia Yun did not really intend to beat Jia Rui up, but slowly let him down and then quickly lifted him up, 
causing Jia Rui's entire mind to be restless and restless, almost scared to death by Jia Yun's actions. My good grandfather, my dear grandfather, how could you spare me this time? Jia Rui, who bullied the weak and feared the hard, also discovered the way. Seeing Jia Yun refusing to let him go for a long time, he knew that he might be bleeding hard this time and would go out to get the silver. There was no need for Jia Yun to mention anything about the silver. He also woke up and realized, this is all the silver on my body. I will give it all to Grandpa Yun, and I hope Grandpa Yun will not despise it. After speaking, Jia Rui took out the few tails of silver from his pocket, which was also one of his few private money. Jia Rui's life is not very easy. He lost his father and mother in his early years, so he had to rely on Jia Dairu to teach in the school, rely on his grandfather's light, extort and extort those elementary school students who came to school, and only then did he get money. On weekdays, Jia Rui also idles around all day, without any ability to make a living or earn money, so naturally he cannot compare with the young masters in the Jia family. No money, this is a common characteristic among all the students of the Jia family's e-school. Otherwise, if Shui Pan came to Jia Fu Yi school later, he wouldn't have spent any money to clean up the elementary school students in Jia Fu, and even caused trouble in the school, which was unreasonable. Jia Yun also snatched the silver from Jia Rui's hand, glanced at it a few times, and said, This little money is not enough. Fifty tails of silver, you should give it to me within three months. If you don't give it, then don't blame me for being impolite. Jia Yun knew that Jia Rui had a way to get money. Coincidentally, he was very short of money, so hitting someone like Jia Rui was also a necessary action. Immediately, he threw Jia Rui in his hand to the ground and threatened, If you dare to speak outside about what happened today, be talkative. Xiao Xian was really cut off by someone at night and lost his life. Listening to Jia Yun's fierce threat to Jia Rui, he immediately shuddered. He quickly waved his hand, shook his head, and said, Grandpa Yun, I definitely wouldn't dare. From today on, you will be my own grandfather. Whatever you say is what you say. Jia Rui knew that his identity and status were not high, and even if he was beaten by Jia Yun, he really dared not speak outside, let alone spread his extortion of elementary school students in Jia Fui school. This matter is not very honorable, and Jia Dairu is also unaware. If outsiders find out, they are afraid that Jia Rui will be ruined and even be beaten up by Jia Dairu, an old boy. Zhaozhuyuan.com Jia Dairu looked up to Sun Chenglong and was quite strict with Jia Rui's control, not giving him too much room to act recklessly. Therefore, Jia Rui was extremely afraid and fearful of Jia Dairu, just like Jia Baoyu seeing Jia Zheng, like a mouse seeing a cat, trembling and trembling all over. Jia Yun walked over again upon seeing this. Jia Rui quickly retreated, afraid that Jia Yun would come to teach him a lesson. He quickly said, Grandpa Yun, I don't have this money with me. Can you be more tolerant for a few more days? Then come at the end of the year. By the end of the year, you must have fifty tails of silver. Jia Yun reached out and pulled it up from the ground. She gave Jia Rui an indifferent glance, which made Jia Rui tremble involuntarily. She then said, If I know if you have money or not, I'm afraid your lifeline will. Speaking, Jia Yun made a gesture, which frightened Jia Rui and made his whole soul fly away. Busy said, I will definitely repay it as soon as possible. After tidying up Jia Rui, Jia Yun was able to step into the school. The elementary school students in the entire school are playing and frolicking. As long as Jia Dairu doesn't come over, it's their free time to play. What's learning and not learning? Learning. Learn your butt. Not studying is their daily routine. Jia Dairu's lectures were sour and rotten, and he was full of words, just like reciting sutras, urging people to fall asleep. Most of the students in the Jia family's e-school come from poor families, descendants of relatives and servants within the Jia family. Although their parents have advised them to study well in the school, 
they will have a good chance of achieving success and passing the imperial examinations in the future. Just these elementary school students are young, where do they understand the rules of the adult world?